Hello guys and welcome back. It has been a minute since I recorded or uploaded anything. I've been so busy, sick, and so I thought I would do a get ready with me. I'm gonna sit down, chit chat, apply the makeup that I feel like using, and we're just gonna talk about stuff. I have a lot on my mind and I thought what better therapy than to sit down and talk with you guys. So grab your makeup, grab something to drink. I have my faithful water in here and let's get started first things first i did chop my hair off you just can't really see um, because i'm wearing a black shirt but it is kind of around here can you see um it was so damaged the ends were absolutely insane my hair was all the way to my belly button and then i slowly kind of started cutting it because of the damage and this last time i was like just cut everything that's damaged i was so tired of my ends looking so bad and so i cut it shorter i am loving it i feel like it's just fluffier uh, and then i did wear it naturally curly a few days ago and it was extremely curly and just wide and big so i am enjoying it it is just so much easier to take care of and get ready and everything i'm loving it i am taking my shandekai sheer glow rose face tint if i forget to mention what i'm wearing i'm just gonna put it in the description box so all that info should be there i'm also taking a little bit of the blur jam and using it on my pore area i need to pull out my tom ford poreless primer i have very little left of that one so that's why i haven't been using it but for a special occasion or whenever i really need my makeup to stay put but i hope it's not discontinued i hope it's still available because the sephora sale is coming up and i don't have a ton that i want to pick up but there's a couple things that I either want to replenish or I'm eyeing like the Westman Atelier lipsticks. There's two colors that I'm interested, but I want to swatch them in store. And our local Sephora has been carrying Westman Atelier. So I think I should be able to swatch them in store. Uh, but I've heard mixed reviews. Some people absolutely love them. Some people say it's very drying. So I'm very curious about that. Let's put this hair up a little bit so it won't be in the way. Of course, you can kind of see my bruises now. They're healing. Um, they're from jujitsu, and I don't talk much about that, but jujitsu has become a huge part of our family. Uh, my kids do it, I do it, Andrew does it, and we're there a lot. And I would love to know if there's anybody here that is in jujitsu or does it, or the kids do it. Let me know down below. It's really so intense, and I get bruised all the time. The foundation I'm going to use today is the Misha BB Cream. I have been loving this one. Oh, I think I told everybody that I'm shade number 23 and I'm shade 25. I, I'm going to message everybody <laughs> that asks me what shade I am in my Instagram stories because I've been using this on Instagram stories and I feel so bad right now. I cannot find any of the conversations from that story. And I don't remember this getting deleted after the story expires, like our conversation. So this is an update for everybody. If you are around my shade, shade 25 is my shade. It looks a little dark right now, but it blends in really nicely. Um, and I can make this color work. Honestly, I think I have 23 as well, but I like this shade a little bit better because it's a little warmer. Um, Oh yeah, this is a little dark. <laughs> okay, never mind. I probably should have combined the colors. But I just would have to get up and get my other shade. We'll make this work just because we can sheer it out. Usually I would wear this shade, I would say in the summertime. But yeah, that is definitely a shade too deep. So now I don't feel so bad about letting everybody know I was shade 23. I was in the car when I responded to those messages. I wasn't at home to check. But I just remember buying both of the shades. Hopefully I didn't mess anybody up. I will say that that is a small, not pressure I would say, but just responsibility to answer all those questions correctly. And I've done mistakes where I told people the wrong shade and I feel awful because if people order based on my suggestion and it doesn't work for them, I feel 
so bad um as i should obviously this shade is definitely a summer shade for me and honestly with this the misha bb cream i do use my hands usually to blend it in and also if i'm in a hurry i won't even use a brush at all i'll just spread it with my hands this color matches my bruises <laughs> I'm debating between these two concealers. I've been loving the Cali Ray concealers, correctors, but I've also been using the Natasha Denona concealer almost daily lately. I've either had meetings or I've had to be places, and I know this is so reliable. But let's start with the Cali Ray. This is the warm glow. It's the peachiest one out of all of them, and I'm just going to color correct a little bit. And then I'll decide if I want to use the Natasha Denona. I'm just going to use my finger to blend this in. This is that product that it's very easy to use. I use it daily, even without a foundation underneath. I absolutely adore it. It's a very forgiving. Uh, I like the colors. I have three of them, but this is the one that works best to cancel the darkness. And then I'll use a different color to brighten up. It's also very forgiving and thin. It kind of feels like a good moisturizer under my eyes with a tint. But I feel like if it gives enough enough coverage however i'm just going to take my natasha denona concealer this is in p3 i think the shade is fine i would love another shade though because i feel like this is a little bit more yellow than i wanted so maybe i need to get into the their correctors because the p i think it's supposed to be peach and i don't find this very peachy at all my kids just finished spring break and we decided to do a staycation and go to a hotel in downtown Nashville and just stay there with the kids and walk all around town. So that's what we've been doing. And it was so, so fun. The only hard part was that at night, the youngest one, the three-year-old boy, started coughing and we all shared a room. And so that kept me awake a lot. I probably got two hours of sleep that that night so i was exhausted the next day which was the walking day but it was still fun i think i'm going to do that more often because they had an indoor pool and the kids loved the pool we were there for hours it was just a special thing without having to go outside of the city and we're gonna do that more often for sure I will say hotels in downtown Nashville are so expensive. Plus, you have to pay for parking. I just couldn't believe how expensive everything was. Under 300 good luck. Not even for a really nice one. Um, we have friends that work at Marriott and Hilton. So we got a good deal, but I was just shocked that most hotels were around three, dollars $400. Not even for a special unit or like a room. I was baffled, but we definitely had so much fun, and that's what we did this past couple of days. We've just been out and about. So if you know Nashville at all, we have so many different pockets, but the Broadway is where all the party is, the nightlife, all the live shows and bars. So we decided at 11 o'clock at night to go for ice cream, and the ice cream was kind of in that area. Um, and the kids were just like absolutely mortified and excited at the same time that we were there with all the loud people. I mean, you could barely walk. And this was 11 o'clock at night. You could barely walk on the street. I did not think it was going to be that bad. I think there was a game or something. I've gone in the evening many times. It was not that crazy. That That's why I thought, well, let's just take the kids for a stroll to the ice cream shop in their pajamas. Um, so nothing bad happened or anything. It was just so crowded. It was absolutely insane, but that's kind of what we did. And I thought that that was really fun. We're also planning to take them to DC. Andrew and I have been there, there a couple years ago and I thought it was a great city to take the kids. I didn't want to take them to New York. It was just seems like too much, but DC has really wide 
streets and really wide sidewalks so it's great because my daughter's in a wheelchair and it would be nice and it was very clean i loved loved dc last time and all the museums are free and there's just a lot to do with the kids i think there so we're gonna do that uh at the end of april because it's gonna be nice weather and everything so we kind of wanted to test out the waters to see how they would do and they all did great I think that they had so much fun and they're going to have so much fun in DC. A bronzer that I've been loving so much and I actually packed it with me is the NARS Laguna in, well, Laguna, it's the cream one. It is a great, great bronzer and lasts all day long. I like the color. So I've been reaching for this probably for the past two weeks now. Um, it's just reliable and easy. I don't have to, I don't have to think about it. Wow, my face is definitely darker. We'll fix that a little bit. I'm glad I pulled this back out. It's just so, so wonderful. Uh, I've been using the new Natasha Denona face palette a lot lately. It's all I took to my little staycation. And I've been using the bronzers a lot as well. So I just take everything and put it over this. I like it as an eyeshadow. I've been using the eyeshadows a lot. So I've been getting so much use of this palette. I've done a full review and tested out every single shade. And I definitely don't think that this is a palette for everybody. If you love intense eyeshadows, these are not it. If you're expecting the regular Natasha Denona palette formula, it's not it. This is a little bit sheer, a little bit softer, kind of a natural everyday, yet you still have a little bit of color. So I'm loving this palette. Even the blush. I like the blush too. Talking about blushes, guys, I have recorded my blush declutter and I had 130 nine blushes together all colors right i didn't calculate just the brands i cal calculated everything so if i have seven different blush colors from patrick ta that's seven blushes anyway i recorded that and i have felt in the whole time i was recording i felt like oh i need to declutter more just to make the video a little bit more entertaining or felt like a hoarder. <laughs> I try not to get too many products, but this is pretty much my job. So I found myself wanting to declutter things that I really didn't want just for the video. So I decided not to post the video because I just didn't like it. I didn't like to feel forced to declutter if I didn't want to declutter. And um, I've just decided that maybe I can do a blush update collection or just an update on my entire collection rather than force myself to record a declutter that only, I think I ended up decluttering maybe around 30, 32 blushes, which is still something, but I didn't like the way I felt through that video. And the ones I declutter is the ones that I really needed to declutter most of them were just old but i just kind of felt pressure into doing something that i didn't want to do for a video and i thought that that was wrong so i decided not to post that video and i i also felt that it's not going to be entertaining enough people are going to be disappointed or i don't know there's so many things that go in our mind as creators and I usually don't think that way when I record something. I don't think, oh, how many views is this going to get me? Obviously, with new products, I want to be one of the first to review them or early with the reviews because it's going to get more engagement, which is great for the channel. But I would never think to do certain things in my video that aren't true to who I am, just reviews. I hope I'm making sense. So... Yes, I decided to not post that video because I really like all my blushes and I know I have an issue. I know I have an obsession. By the way, the one I'm using right now is the um, Clé de Peau blush in shade 3. Just how beautiful is that? And even though I spent a couple hours recording that with nothing to show, I discovered a lot of blushes that I loved and I had four drawers of blushes and I reduced it to three drawers of brushes, which is achievement for me. And what happens many times is 
I have a lot of friends and family that come and I just let them look through my drawers and pick whatever they want unless there's like a product that I really don't want to give up I'll let them know but I don't necessarily let them look in the discard pile so if I have a Patrick Todd that they really love I'm more than happy to give it away so that's another thing that I, I was just like you know what I just I don't want to be forced to do this so there's no blush decluttering coming, but I do think it would be fun to maybe show you my collection. I have kind of cleaned up my makeup room and I've bought two drawers that have two, four, six, eight, nine, nine drawers each, and that's filled with makeup. And I have like makeup around here. I just have been enjoying the cleanliness of the room and not have the makeup in all different spots. So I didn't know if you guys enjoy, would enjoy a video kind of taking you through my makeup collection. It's not excessive, but it's definitely a lot. Um, I've seen people that their entire room is full of makeup and that just overwhelms me. Okay, I'm trying to reduce my makeup all the time. It just seems like way too much. Um, and I never wanna become that. But if you're interested, let me know. The two highlighters that I've been enjoying so much is the Dior highlighter in 01 and then the Chanel Mermaid, the one that just was released. I think I'm just going to use this one. Mm, no, it's a little bit more peachy on my cheeks and this has a little bit of rosiness in it. So I'm just going to use the Dior one right here and just add a little bit of highlighter. I have heard many thoughts on this palette. Some people say it was reformulated. The people that I've talked to at Dior said that it was not reformulated. If you have more concrete um, information about this, let us know. The formula seems the same, very smooth. This is a new one. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if it's reformulated. If it's not, let a girl know and let us all know if you have legit information, not just I kind of heard this or that because I heard both ways. Before I move on, I'm going to take my Guerlain little pearls. Wow, these are so, so scented. This is the original one and I saw that they came out with different colors. I'm not picking them up because I still have this one and it's absolutely beautiful. I don't need more. And you know, I've used so much of it because this was filled almost all the way up. I love, this is kind of like a filter for your skin. It just makes everything melt together and it doesn't look dry, just beautiful. So I started my seeds for a garden and I am so excited. Every morning I wake up so happy and excited to go check on my seeds to see how much they've grown. And they're doing so well. Last year, Andrew planted them. They did not degrade. <laughs> he kind of just threw them in there. And I really have taken such care. And I read about each seed, how deep you need to plant the tomatoes, the spinach, all that and they seem to be loving it. We also got some lights, that way they have consistent sunlight and consistent water, and they are thriving. I am so excited to put them outside and have fresh herbs and tomatoes and cucumbers and everything. If you did not know, I would love to live on a farm absolutely love it. it's it's our dream as a family we just where we live it's extremely expensive land and i don't want to go too far out of the city city limits um for my kids schooling and yeah that's the only reason we are not on a farm right now but we are looking and interest rates are off the roof we could never afford a farmland i want about 10 acres and I want chickens. I want the whole thing. Maybe not cows in the beginning, just because we do like to travel. And that's, you got to take care of the cows. But it's our dream. And I think Andrew would do really well. And the kids just growing on land and more farm. That just sounds like a dream. We have friends that have it. And she's very social. And she's still surviving. <laughs> uh, and I... 
you know, I always thought I was an extrovert, like a, oh, I want to be with everybody and I hate being alone. And the older I get, I realize that that's just not me. I just like my people. I don't want to be with everybody. And so when I realized that and accepted that, I felt so much more peace about being alone and realized how much I actually enjoy being alone and just reading a book and being comfortable. I am not a party animal. I'm not somebody who wants to go party um, unless it's like my friends. Then I'll party with you. And the same thing goes with brand trips. Uh, I never really thought, oh, I want to go on a big brand trip, but I thought it'd be nice to connect with other people that do the same thing and kind of meet the creators of certain brands. And I've had a couple invitations locally in Nashville, and I realized I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't know, mingle with other people. I'm going to take the Makeup by Mario palette and just kind of random colors. I've used these two right here. I adore this palette. This is the neutral one. Oh, I thought I was going to use the Natasha Denona. Oh, well. Um, I love these two new palettes. They're very much my style. Coming back to socialization, I think it's just maybe getting older and being tired and my free evenings or weekends, I just want to be doing stuff and figuring out my garden beds and all this, not going out with other people that I don't know. The same thing kind of happened when I decided to take a break from the salon. I used to be in contact with so many people and give my attention and my energy to so many people that weren't really close friends but they were uh, people that I knew and it was constantly mingling and having conversations with all these other people and spending time, which was great, but it left no energy and time to uh, enjoy my friends, like my close friends that have been with me for 10, 12 years. Um, so that felt very freeing when I stopped doing that and I stopped putting that pressure on. And I feel the same way with YouTube or social media, I am not the person that follows all the big influencers. I don't, nothing. I don't know what's happening in the world, in the social media world, I mean. Um, and I don't think I have desire to know <laughs> just because I don't have energy for, for that. I don't need all that information constantly. There's a couple people or a handful of people that I enjoy connecting and following. Those are people that I just connected through YouTube and I, I love to follow them and kind of keep up with them. But just in general, I cannot. I cannot follow a bunch of celebrities, big people, but I am following people who are having their own garden and living off grid and all that good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Oh, how the times change. I also noticed the other day that I was so depressed for days on end and I realized that it was because I got sick so all I did was stayed in bed and scrolled TikTok and I'm not a big TikTok person. I don't like the idea of just mindlessly scrolling but I was sick and I didn't want to read the book that I was reading it was just I ended up not reading it anymore because it, it just wasn't a good book for me although everybody loves it it was one of the um, Crescent City I just couldn't get in that, into that book I just felt there was a lot more too much cursing for me and mindless you know it was it was just not a book that I wanted to read I already read the first book and I was trying to finish up the second book and I just couldn't do it so I decided it's not worth my time I'm not reading it so because of that I picked up my phone and I started scrolling and I became so depressed for a few days and I connected it to that, to the mindless, insignificant scrolling, even though I had nothing else to do. Well, I did. I could have read something else or maybe even watched an interesting show or something else than being on TikTok. But I've realized just how damaging it can be for me personally, for my health and for my mental health and I just don't want to feel that way it was awful and I felt like I had no desire to do anything but just continue scrolling even though it made me feel like absolute shit so 
I encourage you to maybe take a break from that if you also feel that way when you scroll. It's not that you necessarily, it's just the way it works and the damage that it can cause to your brain to mindlessly for hours I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a quick like a few minutes here and there. I'm talking about hours. Like I was there in bed sick and just mindlessly scrolling through things that I got nothing out of it. It just made me feel worse about who I am and how I look and how I act. So I encourage you to maybe step away, take a break, plant some gardens. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's definitely not for everybody. It wasn't for me for a long time. But do something productive that's good for you. And I don't ever want to feel that way again. Talking about TikTok, the ban on TikTok. What are your thoughts on that? Or should we not open that can of worms? Um, I don't think it's going to happen. I think either they have, the US is going to buy it or something. Um, but... I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Obviously, it doesn't affect me personally because I'm not on TikTok, but I can imagine people that make their livelihood off of that. That would be definitely devastating for them. Yeah, I definitely feel for people who are on that app and their entire job is being threatened. But again, I personally don't think it's going to end up happening. I feel like... It's going to be an exchange having to the U.S. the rights or buying it or something like that more than completely banning it. But who am I and what do I know, right? I told you guys I am in a chatty mood. I have been away for, for me, almost two weeks maybe, a week and a half. And I just kind of wanted to check in and be a little bit more vulnerable and going to tell you where I am mentally as well because I do think it's important to connect with you guys on other levels than just makeup. It's not a must, but it's something that I want to connect with. By the way, this mascara, this was sent to me from Swede. This is a cloud mascara. They sent me a couple of things. I love this one. I actually didn't try the other mascara. I think it's here. It's the Lift Mascara. But this, the cloud one, look how great my lashes look. I'm loving it. Now let's talk a little bit about makeup. I am excited for a couple of new releases. The new Danessa Myricks eyeshadow palette or face palette, should I call it? Because I envision myself using that a lot for um, lips and cheeks. Some eyes, of course, but I loved the Groundwork Mascara, the original one. No, mascara, I'm sorry. The face palette or whatever palette. This one right here. The Groundwork Defining Neutrals. Look how well-loved this one is. I use it for face. I even use it for lips sometimes. For eyes, I adore it. And the thought of having uh, one that's great for blushes and for lips, that is so exciting. I'm going to take my hair off because it's kind of falling. Um, okay, so all I use on my eyes is the Makeup by Mario palette. Just random colors. And on the inner part right here, I put this from Raban. This one right there. And that's it. I don't think I'm going to do anything else on my eyes. I've been loving the all matte look in this palette from Makeup by Mario. I love this one so much more than the original. The tones are more neutral. You can get a little bit of coolness in there if you want to, but it's perfect. So if you're looking for a true neutral eyeshadow palette, this is it. I am going to spray my face a little bit with the Charlotte Tilbury. I just hope the mascara won't get everywhere. What other products I'm excited about this for a sale? Oh, I have picked up one of the new Huda lipsticks, no, lip glosses, full filler, and I really liked it. I wore it a couple of times, and there's a shade that I think I'm going to pick up, the more beigey nude one. I think it's called Honey, maybe. I know I want the, to pick that one up in the sale, and like I mentioned, the West Atelier products. I have a small list. I don't have a ton of product that I want to pick up because I've already picked them up for reviews um 
but I will definitely do a recommendations. I'll just try to be very critical on what I recommend just because there's so many new products that I want to reduce it to maybe top 20 products maybe we'll see moving on to the lips I have here the Freck lip liners I have five colors I don't know where the other two are oh they're in my backpack actually I packed them with me for our little vacation and I have shade one four and five here I want to show you the Huda Beauty gloss so I think I'm going to use the shade four I have been like I mentioned in like three other <laughs> videos really into lip stains I kind of forgot to do it before the video or to show you but I have the Sashu lip liner stains and then the wonder skin yes the wonder skin stains I love the color lovely from wonder skin and this is one that you don't need to leave it on for longer probably like a couple minutes and then you just kind of wipe it off and it lasts a long time it lasts more than the sashu lip liners so i just wanted to mention these because there's some of my most used lip products sometimes i'll put them at night and really put it heavy and then in the morning i already have my lips done and all perfect and <laughs> ready to go i just need a gloss or something on it so i just wanted to mention those because i adore them my lips are definitely very dry but i am going to put the shade four in freck lip liner on it's a beautiful rosewood color and faded in slowly once these set they set you can't move them after which i do like because they're so long lasting that color is so beautiful and now i'm gonna put the huda new lip glosses i guess so these are more pigmented than i thought they would be which i do like but just be aware when you pick the colors this is in the color sugar baby this, she has some beautiful deeper shades but i already purchased the patrick ta uh deeper shades the lip plumpers and i definitely did not even need this one i was just curious of the formula it's very nice it's on a, a little bit thicker than the lip oils and all those that we have today but it lasted so well i love the pigment of it i like the colors but it's not sticky at all so see how pigmented that is that is beautiful so I really like this color. It's definitely more pink, but I tried the Honey, I think that's the name, the more nudie one, and I love the way that one looked. They just didn't have it in store, and I decided to be good and wait for the sale. And that is it. That is the finished look and my short hair. I'm debating just cutting it even shorter. I always hated the in-between length, which is where it is right now but I've learned that with curly hair it really goes up all the way to here so that I love it but um, I, I, I do plan to grow it back out I just want it to be very healthy and strong and I'm I'm enjoying a change even though it doesn't seem much for you guys but when you had it maybe six months ago I had it all the way to my belly button that's a big change for me. So that is everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed chatting with you guys and I am excited to see you in the comments down below. I will mention that I've been falling behind with comments because there's just so many. And when you comment for hours, I mentally have to take a break and don't think that I don't see it or don't read your comments. I read every single one of them. I just can't respond to all of them, but I do my best to either like it or respond if it's a question or something like that. But I appreciate every comment. Don't be discouraged to not comment just because I don't respond. It just gets to the point where it's it would be a full-time job to respond to comments, which is a blessing, okay? I'm not complaining. I'm very thankful, but I see every single comment I take to heart and really appreciate all of you guys. So, with that being said, I will see you in my next video. Bye.